Welcome back to my channel, Lingua Traveler. Welcome to the first episode of my backpacking Europe trip. I am in Budapest. I arrived a few hours back and the journey was smooth aside from that I almost lost my V band, but uh, it was returned at the airport. It's like everything okay. And yeah, then I went on the bus and came to the center of Budapest and now I'm just gonna explore. I am staying in a hostel called B3. I'm gonna give you a tour later but uh, it was pretty hard to find it but I found it finally and yeah now I'm just going to explore. I'm starving so I'm gonna go find the central market where you can eat a lot of local foods so yeah let's go. but I am so happy I went to eat that goulash soup in the market it was so full and rich and it was like just so delicious and spicy and apparently I didn't know that Hungary like they love paprika they love spices and yeah I am just now walking around it's, it's extremely hot so yeah actually later today I'm gonna go up there on that mountain because it is a very very popular place for the sunset and you can also take a sunset cruise and I know if you have a 24-hour public transport card you can use it on the ferry as well because it's a part of public transportation so I might do that I don't have the 24-hour pass but I might just get a ticket and just go because why not we we only live once and yeah I'm just enjoying my day and walking around and I really like Budapest so far I think I had really high expectations because I was dreaming of coming here for so so long but um, yeah I I love it anyway and it's really beautiful it reminds me of Vienna but it kind of like a mix between Riga and Vienna I don't know like I don't know how to explain this I have finally come to the Budapest, to the Hungary parliament and wow, it is so beautiful and magnificent and something is happening there, I don't know what's what's going on, some protests or something, but it's, everything is like really quiet, but what comes to this um, parliament, it's basically built by an architect who unfortunately didn't see his... Um, job because he got blind before the parliament was completed and so yeah unfortunately he didn't see his artwork but it's wow it's so so beautiful
I stayed in B3 Hostel Budapest. It was quite hard to find it, but it's actually a really good hostel. You get a light and a socket on your bed and yeah, there is also a kitchen and a communal area and the Wi-Fi is really good. As you can see, the view is not pretty good. You can't see much, but it was a good deal. So I just checked out of my hostel, they let me leave my bags because I have a night bus and yeah, now I'm just gonna go to a supermarket to get some breakfast. and I bought a few things for breakfast and kind of like snacking through the day and now I'm just going to the market because my mom really wants me to buy smoked paprika because it's a lot cheaper here and um, yeah I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna explore the entire day today I really wanted to go on a night cruise last night but not the expensive one but like I really wanted to find the one that you can use the transportation card for but I and I also wanted to go to Citadel for the sunset but I was so so tired from all the traveling and the heat that I actually went back to my hostel and just stayed there and I was there at like half past six and because of the time difference I know it's just one hour but I still was like really really tired and I went to bed at like eight and uh, I didn't sleep really well because my roomies were quite loud <laughs> but yeah I only had one night there and right now I'm gonna explore the entire day I'm gonna go to the Buddha side because I haven't been to the Buddha side I've just explored the pest side of Budapest and explore there and then I have a night bus to Ljubljana. <laughs> walking to the Gellert Hill where Citadel is located and I regret not working out more. It is super steep. I don't know if you can tell but it is pretty steep and it's boiling cold. But I'm always there for the best view of the city. So yeah, I am, I am suffering but I am gonna get up there eventually. I'm probably gonna sit because there's a bench that's in the shade so i'm probably just gonna relax for a little bit here and then just move up <laughs> it's actually really really hard so yeah let me also show you what i got in the market while i was there so i know the golden rule of backpacking that says don't buy anything because like where would you put it but i broke it anyway and so let me show you what i bought so um i got these two magnets i actually couldn't decide which one i want to get but yeah i ended up getting both of these because one of them was 500 foreign which is like a little bit more than one euro and i asked if i can pay with card and she said only from 700 foreign so i got two of these magnets maybe i'll give one of them to my friend once i get to albania and then i also got this um, smoked paprika for my mom also while i'm finishing my banana i just wanted to talk about how even though i am a huge advocate for solo traveling sometimes it is boring and sometimes you're like well i wish i had someone here to share my memories with and sometimes especially in europe i find that you don't meet as many people uh for example like i was in prague alone and i didn't meet anyone and i was 
like now in Budapest, I didn't really meet anyone in the hostel. They were in my room. They they are a group of friends, and obviously, like I I wouldn't like inter interact with someone who is like already a group of friends, you know. So um, and plus, I am I am an introvert, and uh, yeah, sometimes it's really really nice to spend days alone, but sometimes it's also hard. It is hard, but I'm. I'm happy that views are getting better and better. Just look at this and wow, the view from the top is supposed to be the most beautiful view in Budapest. So I'm just trying to get higher and higher. The only thing I don't like is that uh, there are no signs. So like you have to guess where to go. So I am just using the one that's going up, but there are literally multiple ways that you can go. And I don't know, like I just don't want to walk and then realize that I have to walk back. I'm almost at the top. I can hear people and the statue on the top. So yeah, you have to keep moving. Okay, so there is reconstruction going on, so, see, so you can't really get higher, but the view from up here is magical. Okay, I am gonna try a different route, like, I went up here, I'm gonna try to go up the other way, and hopefully I can get down to the city from that side, I don't have to walk back again and like walk around the mountain because that would be like really, really difficult and um the next sites that i want to see are on that other side of the mountain so we'll see because like um i hope i can i hope i can see the parliament from above and from this side of the river because the chain bridge is being reconstructed this is being reconstructed it is a little bit frustrating though. <laughs> so I started moving down and thankfully there was a way to go where I wanted to go and not like around the mountain. And I am in some kind of park there. It's still a pretty nice view and there are some statues and uh, a view up there and a view there. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna chill a little bit more and then make my way down and maybe like explore here a little bit and find find a place to sit and relax and um yeah. i'm relaxing a lot on this trip i'm tired from up here you can actually see the buddha castle which is my next destination i really want to go there it is basically a castle of hungarian royals but nowadays there is an art museum art gallery and the national history museum so yeah look at that the castle museum and since I'm not a huge fan of museums I'm just not gonna do that I mean I love the museums but I think they are pretty much the same like the more you go the more you understand that how similar they are but you can come up on this platform it is for free and the view is just spectacular and that there is the citadel that I really wanted to go but yeah view from here is also absolutely spectacular say that even if you don't pay for the ticket there are there are multiple museums actually the castle museum and the war museum i think even if you don't pay for the museums it's still worth coming here it's really really beautiful
walking to the fisherman's bastion i stopped at the bus station at the bus stop because i saw a ticket booth and i really wanted to buy a ticket to get to the other side of budapest to the side of pest because the um, chain bridge is being uh, reconstructed and so if i want to walk i have to walk all the way to another bridge which is like really far away and i wanted to i just i just can't do it and uh, i wanted to get a metro card because i think it, you can uh, you can use the transportation card in any kind of transportation and there was this lovely lady who gave me a 24 hour uh, ticket because she bought it uh, she, she she made a mistake and she bought three so she gave one to me also i didn't talk to you in the fisherman's bastion because there were so many people literally like billions of people and um my social anxiety is not i am like way too awkward vlogging in public um yeah i don't mind a few people seeing it but like when a billion people see it I, like i don't know it's just really really weird but yeah i am just now walking to find the tram station because i want to take the yellow tram